Good morning! It's a gloomy day here in Oslo and I was craving like a shopping day. I'm not gonna shop that much. It's more so that I crave being outside in the city, looking at beautiful things, getting some inspiration and actually picking up a few things that I need. And you are coming along. I've been looking at you all night, trying to figure you out. I just want to make you smile. Hold your hand in my hand, looking at the sunset, making me looking good tonight. I want to kiss you before the sun goes down. It's what you do. almost 11 o'clock now and I think I'm gonna go to the department store first called Stan and Ström Stan and Ström so yeah I want to smell some perfumes to see if I can find a new one so I'm walking now down Karl Johans Gata Behind me is the castle, the Norwegian royal castle. <laughs> Just a couple of minutes walk until we're there. I wanna kiss you before the sun goes down. It's been a year since I posted like a day in Oslo. So if you want to see some more of Oslo, you can watch my video from last year where we also went to a museum and one of my favorite cafes uh, but yeah it's nice to be out quite early in the day shopping street with Louis Vuitton, Chanel just opened a couple of years ago or last year. Hermes, Dior, Gucci, Mulberry, all of them. I'm not gonna shop anything expensive today. Also people are staring so bad when you walk around with a camera. But here is Stenelström department store so I'm gonna go inside.
out on the street again and I want to quickly buy some socks because I'm out of socks. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to H&M or something. Beneath the starlit sky, our love secret line, like leaves we soar so high. Beneath the moonlight, self touch your hand in mine, it gets me every How long I've been waiting for the stores to take back the floral tights. Lost in the city lights, our love's electric, right? You make me feel alive. I know July is gone, you make me feel alive. Today. I'm now going to take the tram to a different part of the city to pick up something that I've ordered, which is hot chocolate. <laughs> so yeah, I'll go there. You're there is my mind. My stars that never die. You and I will shine during the darkest time. I think I'm going to take the tram back downtown. Baby, this is the season of love. Baby, this is the season of love. Okay, so I've done what I needed to do. I picked up my hot chocolate and I bought socks. I smelled some perfume. I'm trying to decide which one I want. Um, yeah, there's so many good ones. And I decided that I want to buy a Tom Ford perfume, but I'm not sure which one yet. I'm getting kind of hungry. So I think I want to go somewhere to eat in a while or pretty soon actually. I have the feeling I ought to do some cultural thing today as well now that you're here and here behind me is uh, the Natural History Museum. I've been there before. I, I didn't think I would go there today. There's also this National Museum at Akerbrygge. Uh, last time we went to the Monk Museum so we'll see what we'll do. I'm walking through like the quad of uh, the University of Oslo and it's so pretty out now. There are still some leaves on the trees and it's they're just falling off.
entering Akirubiriki now. Here is the National Museum behind me and over here is Akershus Fortress which was built in the 13th century I think. You can see it over there. From Akebrygge, you can also take the boats out to the smaller islands in the Oslo Fjord, which is super nice in summer. You should definitely go there. I am actually gonna go find something to eat now. I'm going to see if one of my favorite places to eat is open and available. In the last video from Oslo, I took you to Oslo Raw, which is my definite favorite, but this is another one. So delicious and so necessary. I'm already kind of tired from being outside and looking into shops. My feet hurt. I don't feel like going to any museums because no, I'm not that into museums and if I were to go today it would sort of only be to take you guys along for that and I'm not feeling it today. It would be fake and also I have a dog waiting back home for me so I think she she would be more happy if I just came home soon I have one more errand to run I actually want to go back to tr test uh, the perfumes on my skin to see how they develop and also I want to buy some candles but since we're not going to any museums I think the least we could do is go to the older parts of Oslo just to look around for a few minutes. It's sort of the old Christiania, which was Oslo's name previously. Actually, the city center of Oslo was located just a little bit further east in the beginning. All the houses, they were wooden houses. And in 1624, the whole city burnt down and the king decided to move the city to this part. So let's look around. I look into your eyes, I see we're out of time. I guess no one's a blame. I'm like super nerd when it comes to Oslo's history because I think it's so exciting. It's been a city for more than a thousand years, but we don't talk a lot about that 
here in Norway. We do have lots of medieval history and Viking history for that matter, but also it's actually a really old city, like not as old as Rome or other places of course, but we do have lots of history and lots of these buildings from where we are now are built in the 1600s, which is cool. Especially like if you're American, not that many buildings and cities are that old. Like here for instance, like very old and in front of me is Akershus Fortress, which is also cool. The Akershus Fortress was actually the castle when it was built or a little bit after it was built or something. But at some point in time, it was the castle as well as a fortress. So you can see parts of it there. Up here. Beyond our separate ways as we fade into gray. Maybe I need to make like a... Okay. Maybe I need to make like a dedicated uh, video on Oslo's history or more videos about it. That would be cool for me at least. There's more to this area, so I think we definitely need to cover that in a separate video. And now my feet hurt so bad, so I just want to run my last errands and head home soon. I tried the perfumes on my hands now, on my wrists, and I'm gonna go buy some candles in Lager House. Take the train back home. After all these years, here is a mine. It's you and I. And we're back home. I don't think I've told you, but I now live in Oslo again. But then I work in Notodden, my hometown, as you might have seen in one of my previous vlogs. So I share my time between the two cities and I'm mostly in Oslo during the weekends. So now I'm back home in my apartment in Oslo and I thought I wanted to show you, just quickly show you what I got today before we end this vlog. So 
As you saw, we bought some candles. I also bought lots of socks, more socks, and I bought lots of tights from H&M. I've been wanting to buy these for so many years now, but they haven't had like these floral tights for some years. And I also bought this sparkly thing. And then the package that I picked up was Mirvan cacao from Oslo Raw and also one of their regular hot chocolate mix. So if you haven't tried the hot chocolate at Oslo Raw, you're missing out. In my previous Oslo vlog, you can see me drink hot chocolate. It's so rich and so delicious. So I recommend. Last things that I bought is um, some hair ties. And one of these little travel size jewelry box. I've been wanting to buy one for forever and it's so convenient to have like some rings and some necklaces. And as you've probably seen, I wear the same jewelry on repeat so I don't need a big jewelry box for my daily life. So this is great. I am really proud of myself because everything that I bought has been on my list for a long time. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm gonna try to edit it as quickly as possible, so we'll see how it how it goes. Actually, when you see this video, I will be on a meditation retreat, a 10-day meditation retreat. So I'm trying to make this one in advance so that you can see it. And then we'll share the experience of the meditation retreat when I'm back home. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed some of it. I Hope you enjoyed all of it <laughs> and if you did give it a thumbs up before you go consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done it you know that really helps any creator on youtube i will see you back very soon have a great weekend bye